making a stuffed breast of lamb with butter bean mash. Breast of lamb's a really cheap cut, brilliant for feeding lots of people, loads of flavour. Butter bean mash goes really well with this because it's a really earthy mash that sort of feels healthy because it's got beans in more than potato. All this fat in here looks quite scary now, but this will all render down when cooking and this is what gives your meat flavour. I've already boned out the ribs. You should ask your butcher to do this. First, we want to chop up all our ingredients for our stuffing. This is going to give real freshness, cut through some of the fatty flavour of the lamb, and also gives you a lovely green centre. Put that into a bowl with a tablespoon of olive oil just to help bind everything together. Next things are your artichokes. They've already got some oil. You want to try and keep that as much as possible because that's got the lovely artichoke flavour. And then add your garlic. Again, as finely as you can. You can grate it if you want. Put in half a lemon. We're going to use the other half in the butter bean mash. Mix everything up together just so you're combining all those flavours. So the next thing you want to do is you want to toast your pine nuts. What we're looking for is this lovely golden colour. So you want it on a kind of medium low heat and you just want to keep an eye on them and then once you can smell them you know they're ready. Tip them into your pestle and mortar and just gently break some of them up. Then you've got a few broken ones and a few whole ones you tip them into the rest of your mix. You can always put in more pepper than you think. And a few twists of salt. And then this is going in our lamb. So I've cut my breast of lamb in half because I'm only feeding two people. And then you want to get your stuffing, big handfuls of it, and massage this into the meat. Once you've got all your stuffing in, every corner of your lamb and over most of your hands. You want to start rolling it up quite carefully. Now I'm not going to lie to you, your pine nuts and your artichokes are going to fall out at the end but don't worry because all that means is then when you're serving it you can pick those out and eat them before it gets to the table. Get your foil and wrap it into a tight parcel. After about an hour and a half will come and we'll take the foil off so that we can crisp up the outside and we get the best of both worlds. 160 fan, 180, hour and a half, and we'll come back and have a look. So we've been cooking our butter beans for about four to five minutes on a kind of medium low heat, uh, just in the water that they come with in the tin. Put the potato in that we cooked. Add a little bit of olive oil and mash it all together. The olive oil also gives some of its flavour. So the better olive oil you use, the better your mash will taste. Add in half a lemon and this will tie your mash to the lamb and also help cut through the fat. And that's your butter bean mash ready to go. So the lamb has now been in about an hour and a half, so we just want to take it out. So we want to drain off the fat. Put it back in the oven for an hour so the skin can go nice and brown, the edges can go nice and crispy. So our lamb's been in the oven for two and a half hours and we've just had it out to rest for about five minutes. If you have a look you'll see it's got this lovely kind of deflated kind of collapsed look about it We're all nice and brown on the outside and it'll be lovely and juicy on the inside you can try and cut this daintily if you want but i'm hungry so it's going to be big chunks place them with our butter bean mash and beans so there we have my stuffed breast of lamb with parsley and pine nuts and artichokes butter bean mash French green beans. Now we get to try some. Lovely crunchy skin on the outside, nice and soft on the inside. The sweetness of the artichokes and the pine nuts really cut through the fattiness of the meat, combined with the lovely earthy texture of the mash. It's all good.